Hi, and welcome to Three Questions. Welcome, my buddy John, with us from PCS. Good afternoon, John. Welcome to the show. Hey, Kevin. How you doing? Thanks for having me. I just live in the dream, my friend. So let's go right at it, John. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Uh, I solve problems. So uh, what kind of problems do I solve? <laughs> think about then you think about your frustrations with technology, slow performance, right? Latency issues, slow service, um, you know, just and even the stuff you don't really think about or struggle with, you know, like back end security, firmware updates, patching, monitoring 24 seven business continuity plans. So those are the things that PCS does. We are a one stop shop for your technical needs. We can handle um, technology needs for a small business and be essentially their IT department or for larger enterprise. We can be a tech partner with the internal guys and, you know, sort of be uh, an escalation point for them. And, you know, no one employee is 24 seven, but we are. Yep. So, John, I was thinking of you. I was thinking back to my days when I worked in the bank and I oversaw technology. Mm -hmm. And this is going back, you know, 10, 15 years ago. And even back then, I couldn't do it. But now the technology is changing so fast and you can't be, you know, good with servers and maybe good with security, good with phone systems. That one master person, I think that is a myth at this point in time. I don't think anyone has it. And if they do, you probably can't afford them, John. <laughs> there's there's a lot of truth. Your company is. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot of truth to that. You know, it's it, it's funny because the internal people, right? Just think of it as house cat. That's the environment that you know. Yeah. So with someone like PCS, we're alley cats. We're out there in the world. We're touching multiple environments. We're keeping up with the latest technologies. And for internal IT, and it's not a knock, it's, it's so fast moving, it's almost impossible to do your day to day and keep the lights on and keep up with that sort of technology. So, you know, the days of not having a tech partner like PCS are over. I mean, you, you, it's always good to partner up with an MSP to be there for you, to monitor 24 seven, to keep you up to date with the latest technologies and securities, uh, you know, security patches and, and the risks that are out there. John, you may be surprised to understand that um, no one likes managed service partners more than me. As a finance guy, I honestly loved it because I remember days when, you know, you were kind of paying as you went. And it's like, damn, John's lived here this month. I don't want to see that invoice because it's going to be expensive. I like saying, hey, this is your cost per month. And I knew exactly what to expect. And I had good people when I needed them. You know, I to me, I just love that because I had those months. I'm like, oh, good Lord, we're going to not make any money this month because because my IT company made all the money this month. So knowing it's there, it just it, it gave me that peace of mind and not to worry about those months when it just seemed like everything went wrong. Yeah, that's right. I mean, having a company like a managed service provider like PCS, it's like there's your month to month regular bill. That's the same price and it's unlimited services 24-7. So if we're there for 20 hours working on an issue or three hours, it's all going to be the same, no matter what. If the you-know-what hits the fan, well, when the you-know-what hits the fan, it's never yeah. if, it's when. It's when, you know, absolutely. Where you have us right there, 24-7. And like you said, and you know, I liked what you said earlier, because this would happen to me, you know, the tech company come in, hey, Kev, why are you doing it that way? Hey, John, that's the only way I know how to do it. You know, because I'm not out in other environments, you know, I, this is what I did and it worked. I, but they're like, Kev, it's taking you all day to do that. We could, and I'm like, huh, who would have thunk it, John? You know, you can save me all this time. But again, that's, that's super valuable. People, so I think downplay that, John. It's like, oh, you know, but no, it's just like, hey, here's my problem. John, as you're out and about in other environments, see what other people are doing and bring that back to me so we can look at implementing that. And to me, that just always worked well for me. Yeah, no, it, it makes sense. I mean, we always go to, back to our clients and we let them know, you know, the best practices, not only like what could be more efficient. I mean, that's a big part of it, but also like the best practices for security and just overall, um, you know, you look at, you know, it, you've got hardware that's out of date. Yeah, you could go ahead and build this out and do, you know, whatever. But uh, if something goes wrong with this old hardware, you know, you know, just like a vehicle, it gets old too. And it's working until it doesn't. 
So right. we always give our best recommendations to our clients. And at the end of the day, they decide what they want to do and we'll we'll help them out. You know, and it could be a budget thing. Hey, we got to put it off till next year. Let's see what we can do to eke through, you know, the next 12 yep. months. And yep. we're there for that. Yep. It's funny. You just set me up for the last question. And that's True. what it is. It's making that strategic plan. I didn't do that when I first was in charge of IT. I was very reactionary. Oh, my God, we need a new server. How much is that going to be? Oh, my God, we need this. Instead of sitting down and going, okay, John, take a look at everything. Where are the weaknesses? You know, security being one of the biggest ones, we got to make sure we, that's got to win. That has to go over everything. And at least in my opinion, it goes over everything because we got a breach. It don't matter. I got a new server, John. You know, <laughs> I'm going to be selling that at a fire sale, unfortunately, <laughs> you know, and stuff. So it's, but it's all kidding aside. It's making that plan. Kev, this is where your biggest risk is. This is what it looks like for a budget. How do we put this together so I can, you know, make sure that I'm putting some investment in every year to staying up? That's the plan? Yeah, I mean, we actually will do that the first time we step on site with a client before they even sign on with us. So we'll do about a two-hour network evaluation, just kind of see everything that you have going on in your environment. And we'll give you our top three recommendations of like the really severe high risk, the like, hey, you should probably get to this in the next year, and then eh, you know, keep this on the road. You know, I'll, I'll keep this on your radar. And uh, you know, sometimes all three of them are super high, and we'll do our best to give uh, an estimate. So that's before you even sign on. We will do a free evaluation and nice. make sure that we, you know, just we're up front with you. Like this is what you're looking at. The end of the day, still the client makes the decision, and yeah. we'll do wh whatever um, you know, whatever they ask us to do. So, John, what's the best way for people to reach out to? You? How can they learn more, bud? Uh, they can go to the website um, at uh, helpmepcs.com. Awesome. John, and, uh, and, uh, you, you can sign up for a free, a free consultation on the website. I, I really like that, all kidding aside, because it eliminates that upfront cost, at least immediately, because we all do that, John. Like, I think I'm okay, but am I willing to bet my business on it? No, John, I'm not. So to have you guys come in and do that, I think it's a great service. So, John, I appreciate you taking a couple of minutes to call on the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. All right. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it.